Hello, and welcome to Franny. Franny is starring Trisha Paytas and... Co-host, Ethan Klein. There you go. My co-host. Yeah. He's Trisha's with us today. He's with us every day because he's my co-host, yeah, Ethan Klein. I know. It's only a matter of time before I turn into your co-host. Your For producer. Sure. My helper, my producer, Ethan Klein. Do you think that's going to happen? I feel like you sense that's going to happen because you said, let's make the Wendy Williams thing happen as long as I can be your co-host. So I think you think I'm going to be the shooting star of this podcast and I'm going to get my own show on TV. To be honest with you, I feel like we make a good duo. I think you're nothing without me. I was nothing without you. I got canceled after eight months on my own podcast. But I feel like, <laughs> but I feel like together we make a strong power duo. I think you have the connects because your YouTube is crazy high CPMs. Like I get the same views as this channel monthly, and I have like. What's the length of the videos? My videos are so long. My videos are long too. Anyways, I'm I'm happy to be here. This is the most money I made on YouTube in ten years. <laughs> <laughs> so. But I was just saying, like, well, if you're gonna go to Wendy Williams, be in the next Wendy Williams, maybe I want to f- sit in and be your be your. Yeah. Miss, not Mr. Wendy Williams, but like also. Maybe like Regis and Kelly. Regis and Kelly, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or Kathy Lee. She was a little better than Kelly. Yeah, but better okay. than them. And fatter. And fatter. Mostly <laughs> Could you fatter. sitting on those stools? <laughs> like the Thai stools. Oh my God. I would get so bodies. exhausted. Like, I like that I have a fat friend to just joke about being yeah. fat with. I mean, I, we could call it something like, you know. Fat friends. Fat friends. <laughs> or I was thinking like. Uh, cold tea. I just had another good tea name. It was called. Your, uh, your names are horrible. I said we should be. Like T three with it, like it's like T, like T, the T channel. If you wanted to gossip, so like T three, it's good, and it looks like T. Let's so okay. today we did a really <laughs> special episode where we go off field to do goat yoga. Wait, before can I just plug my band, Sad Boy Two Thousand Five? Oh yeah, okay. go ahead. Hey guys, so I have a new emo pop punk band. It's called Sad Boy Two Thousand Five. Go to sadboy 2005com We have band merch right now, not streetwear. We're not Mac Jack over here, but we have merch. Sad Boy Two Thousand Five dot com. The album is out on Spotify, iTunes, anywhere you download and listen to music. Please check it out. It's under Sad Boy Two Thousand Five. Not my name, Trisha, because it's a band. It's a collective. I can't wait for you guys to see these videos. They're super excited. If you were into my chem, Fall Out Boy. Um, old school panic like that's kind of like the sound but like not quite there everything I do is just not quite there and yeah sadboy2005.com hopefully I'll have a link this time I've never had a link the entire time I'll put a link. You, 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 all your links are like porno, pornographic so I, I have a YouTube them. channel you could link every every time and you never do so I'd appreciate people know where to find you they definitely don't they okay, I'll say, put, you're right I'll put your YouTube link you're right, like I why do don't you guys link Trish I'll link Trish and this is the logo. We're half boy, half girl. We're half happy, half sad. It's about being confused with gender, being confused with sad emotions. So there's just Are a lot. Are you wearing two wigs? No, this is actually one. How come there's like, it looks, oh, it's my shit, hair. sticky. Little, little cum shot. A little cummy. <laughs> I love a little cummy. My you, bed is crusty right now from cum. Oh, bro. <laughs> Moses, what is this? Is it your cum, I hope? Obviously. So why are you coming all over her bed? No, it's like inside me when we fall asleep and then it drips out overnight. And Aren't I, you supposed to pee before you go to sleep? Because it can cause infection. I throw my like legs over to try and get pregnant. I'm like throwing my legs over my head and hopefully it stays in there. So you guys are, so you, okay. You guys went from. Do we want to do the goats first and then get Brutal breakup to trying to get pregnant. You said you have an announcement to make. Yeah, you want to tell me now or should we yeah, just after no, the goats? Yeah, no, let's go now. Let's go good. I have a few things that you want. Okay, exciting okay. announcement <laughs> after the goats. <laughs> Stay tuned. Um, it's a fish. I don't help. know what it is. Don't, wait, don't say it. Oh. Clickbait him. You want him to watch? Oh, you do? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, don't tell him now. Don't give it away. Can I Your show mom. you our new release that comes out today? Yeah, I'd love this. I'm actually a supporter of Teddy Fresh, too. Thank you very much. And I'm yeah. very excited. I actually designed this one. Oh, you did? Oh, so you do design some of these. This one's, oh, this is this is not on Instagram yet. No, it hasn't been shown yet. I think you have very good looking models. I asked where you got all these sexy models. Like, they look like real models. Like, from yeah, yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. They're hot. So, this is the four point hoodie. And then this is a corduroy uh, hooded shirt, which is really cool. Really you guys nice got the color. quality at Teddy Fresh. One day I'm hoping yeah. to merge Sad Boy with your connects. That's my because goal. It's just there's so we work. The thing is, you work with so many manufacturers uh, yeah. and so many pieces. It's like there's a huge. It's just a huge. Well, we can hire a project manager. Sure, let's talk about. You it could get a percentage. Show. This is my. I goal. don't want to be your fucking Sad Boy. It's going to be epic. We're going to be like the new MyCam. We're going to be in Hot Topic. It's uh, let's talk about it. Let's see what I can do. So this is the oh, airbrush. Ethan, one. you're so sweet. Like, you are so cool to me. Okay. No, this is dope. I love this. Like, this is yeah. dope for real. One no, of our, your one of, quality is amazing. Thank you so much for like, saying I, that. It's not fan joy. This is, <laughs> this is, this actually, I'm really excited about these pants. So corduroy uh, elastic waist pants. <gasps> for fatties. <laughs> I, I Well, you know, I'm so happy because elastic waist is like super in right now. Yeah. And so it's great. You're, you don't have to worry about buttoning. This, this is, is what, what I'm wearing. wearing. 
the flame set. I love this set so much. I need this set with the beanie. Why don't you wear the beanie with it? I should have. I realized I, I, I should have put it I on. I should have worn this you, one. That's so dope. You, which one do you want? We'll send you. I want the white. The, the white, white and purple. Okay. I'll make sure. This is. Classic. I designed this one too. So you designed it. What do you mean? You're like sketching it? I did it. I went in Photoshop mm -hmm. and I picked the colors and I picked really? exactly where the squares go. And then I pass it to the production team and they make it like, yeah, I designed this one. Dude, it's super cool. I see TikTokers wearing this now. Bella Poach wore it. That's very exciting. Oh, Teddy Fresh. Yeah, yeah. it is. So like, you know, but like the production team, it's easy to draw something and be like, look, I'd made a design. But the production team really is what who make it happen. No, I know. Because the stuff you guys find too is like so not, you can't find it anywhere else. Like we much. make kids beanies. Okay, I love Just that. Why not? A new necklace? Lock necklace. You guys are like your Polar own hot fleece. topic. You don't even need to be in stores. This one came out really nice. Polar fleece set. Oh, this one I love. The sunflower. This one I love. Can I have this one too? Mm -hmm, sure. That's so cozy. Gingham hoodies. You guys should start buying more of these because you run out of shit so quickly. Like you sell out of like the knit stuff in like a day. Like just buy more. Yeah, we're 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 trying to figure that out, but this one Ela designed it came out really cool. It took like us a that. lot to to get it right for the textures, but these are little buttons like sewn on. And it, it came out really I like cool. That too. Mm -hmm. So that you know that's it. Here, I want to ask you about something. Okay, I thought we we're gonna go to break to the. Well, there's goats. one thing I want to ask you about before we go into the goats. Mm -hmm. You made a TikTok, mm. and it looks like you ate a <gasps> lip ring. What the fuck was this? <laughs> so wait, let me watch so the people know. <laughs> So you're eating, by the way, you're doing something really bizarre. You're eating muffin bottoms. I just like the bottoms. But I, most people like the muffin top. What? There's a whole Seinfeld episode about top of the muffin to you. Right. But you are a bottom muffin. I like you're the a bottom. bottom muffin bitch. I don't like it too sweet. Icing's a little too sweet for me. I just like the cake. I get a dozen just to eat by myself. I think Moses had two of these and I think I ate the rest of the bottom. Because I'll take because I'll take the top any day. <gasps> do you like do you prefer top or bottom, Moses? I had the whole thing. He eats the whole thing. He eats the whole thing. Weird. <laughs> All right, so watch this. So you like the top? I should have brought you my top. Yeah, bring me your muffin tops. <laughs> okay. You know there's kids in Africa that eat those muffin tops. Okay. All right, so watch this. And we edit it so you guys can see what's going on. Did but you? Oh, basically, God. her lip ring on her left side of her face disappears. There's a crunch, and it looks like you sw ate it and swallowed it. It's super Recently, weird. I'm not the only one who does this with cupcakes, and this is the greatest thing about being an adult. I literally just eat the bottom. So, like, if you were to, like, pick a cupcake... <laughs> All the bottoms are pretty much out. So it's like, it's kind of luck of the draw. Um, it's so boring. But yeah, all you do or all I do is take this out. So keep an eye on I the left, the, the one on the left. Oh, off. Your right, her left. Here it is on the, it disappeared. <laughs> and there's a crunch. Like Back it up. The ring disappears and there's a crunch. <laughs> What the fuck happened? Did you really eat your... I really did. Oh my god, it was so scary. And my sister's like, you're gonna just poop it out, but I haven't yet. And I feel wait, like wait, wait, wait. You, you didn't realize that you swallowed I it? I don't chew food, I just swallow it. Like, I really do. Girl, you're like, you're, that's like... Have you ever seen me eat pasta? I literally just swallow it whole like a freaking snake. You start chewing. People always say that. I literally don't chew my food, and no one ever taught me well, to. Well, now you might die because you just swallowed a lip ring whole. But it sounds Ugh. like you crunched it. How did you not know? How did you not know that there was a ring in I your mouth? I think it just hit my teeth. I think the crunch just hit my teeth. I don't think I bit it. Hey. Well, didn't you feel it? So you swallowed a fucking. I, we couldn't find it anywhere. Like we looked, and I was like, "Did you look through your poop?" I haven't gone yet. So are you gonna look through your poop? My sister said I would just. I would feel it. You'll probably be fine. I can't get over the fact that you actually swallowed a lip ring. I know. And it's like an Amazon one, too. I'm like, I hope I don't have COVID in there. Probably like asbestos in it. Oh, it's asbestos. Yeah. Well, that was a bad idea. I can't believe you brought that up. Like, so embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> because I was like, it's there's funny. no way you crunched and swallowed a metal object. It'd be like maybe on the floor or maybe I misunderstood. But you really swallowed that. I think so. I'm not sure. That's kinda, that is kind of, as you say, everything. Thank you. That's icon shit. Really? I think so, yeah. Because nice. like this is just like, <laughs> oh, boring video. She's eating cupcakes. And then all, all of a sudden, super exciting. <laughs> How do you people notice that? Just, How do people thing. notice these things? It's so little. Listen to the this crunch. Thing. How could you not notice? <laughs> How could you swallow that and not notice? You're chewing. Mm. I don't Bro, how is it possible to know. swallow a Are metal? Are you sure it's a crunch? Are you sure I didn't like hit the table? I feel like maybe I hit the table with my foot. <laughs> Sorry, I'm burpy because I just had so much to cry, but yeah. I don't know. 
I think it's in me because I was feeling like it's nauseous. Like I was feeling like a tightness in my chest. I literally felt like it was in me. I was like, oh, it's not good. <laughs> Moses, do you have any thoughts on this? Were you there? He wasn't there. He wasn't there. Well, I wasn't for him. Bro, that's crazy. I didn't know that that was humanly possible. You're, you are like a goat. You're like the goat that we're going to go. <laughs> Greatest of all time. Sure. Thanks. <laughs> All right, well, speaking of goats. Oh, a YouTuber has goat merch. Who is that girl that has? Oh, Erica Costa. No shade. I actually love her. She's a super sweet. But, like, I don't get it. Why do you have a goat? Because you, they just, they have, like, a mascot, and they want to try to do something. Like, we have a teddy bear, you know? This TikToker has one called CEO of Mood. CEO of Mood? Like, but. Well, but, Shane Dawson's pig, so, he, you know, you love Shane, and he does that. But that's, like, a logo he's trying to brand where if you don't like Shane, you could wear a pig hoodie. Do you know what I mean? It's not, like, saying, like. It's not like just a random thing on there. Like he was like branding. These people can't just be like, oh, CEO, mood. Dude, you need merch of you eating that. <laughs> Where'd the ring go? Trisha Paytas underneath. Trisha okay. I don't know if that's a good idea. <laughs> Why? <laughs> just this of you eating the cupcake and the ring disappearing. It's awesome. Okay. I mean. And it's like, where'd the ring go? I don't think people are gonna buy that. Also, I don't want people to think I'm shitting on on YouTubers that have merch. They're doing better than me. Like I'm just I'm just jealous because I never had merch and I like you know. So I'm not shitting on you guys. Although Teddy Fresh is superior, which is I'm, what I'm trying to get. I'm sitting right next to you. It's going up that level. <laughs> That's when I leave. Once I get that connect, and then I'm gonna keep. You're gonna eating. balance out of my life. <laughs> Once right, I'm a billionaire right. like you guys off merch or not merch streetwear. It's street. What did Mike say? It's not. This isn't merch. This is streetwear. Yeah. But it's, it is, I mean, technically, it's t shirt is streetwear. It's merch, though. Can we watch that video? On. Let's watch the video. Because <laughs> people don't know what we're talking about. Oh, fuck it. This is a mess. It's fine. Let's do the goats. Let's do the goats. Dan, can you clean this up a little bit? No, what? I hate that you edit so much out. Just leave it, Dan. Okay. Why you listen to me? And leave this, too? Yeah. It's all of it, yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's, Let's go, go to the goats. the goats. Roll to the fucking goats. <laughs> we are here at the park with Laughing Frog Yoga. And Hello Critter. And we're here to do some goat, goat yoga. yoga. Couples edition. It's like a romantic date. No, it wasn't romantic. It was kind of like a little slutty. I mean, I don't, I hate using that word, but like there's kids in the park. No. And you came wearing a skirt. <laughs> and it's not really appropriate, but we're gonna make. I don't. I don't. I don't want to say it's not slutty, but like just like <laughs> permission. I don't know what's the word. I don't want to. Call There's you, no word. There's no good word. You can just show whatever you want to show. It's not. A what? Subject. You can't just show I whatever you want to show. I, have I can just. I, have I just can't just put my dick out for everyone to see. Oh That's a crime. God. But I'm very excited. You planned this. This is the most <laughs> any man has done for me. I'm like gonna cry. <laughs> So cool. Romantic. Um, we're being COVID safe today. Yeah, we're everyone. Oh yeah. Distancing. Everyone's been tested. Yada yada yada. We're outside. Uh, <laughs> COVID's fake. No, I'm kidding. I believe no. in COVID. Okay, Jake Paul. <laughs> no, I believe in. I believe in. Everyone knows I believe very no. much in COVID. I didn't mean to call you slutty. I feel bad. I just meant like that. You're showing your. You goods always and, call me slutty. No, but I don't mean that. I didn't mean that. I take that back. <clears throat> You've done goat yoga before. I've done goat yoga before, but these goats are huge. I'm yeah. nervous. You had little baby goats before. They were like eating your hair, right? They were eating my hair. I was a lot skinnier. They were a lot skinnier. But now I'm bulky. I'm ready. Broad shoulders. The instructor said the goats like, uh, she pointed at Trish and said she likes, they like big people. I don't think she pointed to me. <laughs> yeah, she did. She said that we're both fat and out of shape. I was like, I'm not. And then she said the goats like people with broad shoulders. I mean, hey, they got good taste. <laughs> right. Should we do that again? I no. feel like it was too combative. Cut it. We, no, but if we're like, <coughs> hey guys, stay over here at Goat Yoga, Hello Critter, and Laughing Yeah, but we're not yoga. doing E! News. But isn't that what we're doing? No, we're just doing a stupid podcast in our own style. You just said it wasn't clean enough. Hey enough. guys, it's Goat <laughs> Yoga. I'm Ethan Klein with my co-host, Trisha Paytas. What are we doing today, Trisha? Today we have ghosts <coughs> jumping on our back. It's a new fad here in LA. It's healthy, it's good for your mental, and while we're all staying at home with COVID, go outside, wear a mask, be safe, and get the mental exercise. So the people who did your goat yoga, what was the name of that place? <laughs> no, we're not oh, saying oh. it. <laughs> because Trisha said the other goats were violent, and I wanted I to make sure that, <laughs> that they did, that's not the goats that showed oh, up today. Came through. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. The laughing goats or something? It's not the laughing goats. The goat part, the party goats. Stop, oh, no, those guys, you don't want to fight. You cut it. Every goat is great here in LA. Honestly, they're homegrown, they're vegan. They bring you blessings. If they poop or pee on you, it's good luck. All right, let's do goat yoga. Woo! Just face down on your knees. Take a big inhale, chest up. And then just start making circles to the right. So who, like, why was goat yoga invented? 
So there was a lady doing yoga in her barn and she had goats and they started jumping all over her and she decided to make it a thing. And there's so many benefits. Ah, there's a goat on me. So they just know to get on you, huh? Hey goat, what? Why are they, they don't even need a, they don't need consent, eh? They just know to do it. No, they'll be all up in your Ooh. business. So these goats are like trained to get on my back? Yeah, yeah, it does feel Come good. Come on, goat. <laughs> With them on? Here. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. They're they're surprisingly <laughs> agile. Actually, they're not as heavy as I it thought. It feels kind of good. Which I'm goat is on me, the big one or the little one? Gigi, yeah, the big one. Ooh. Bigger one. Wow. I they're just They just want to get on your back. Oh, you're giving them treats. I see what's going on. And they're still pretty small because they these goats can get up to like 65 Goat. pounds or so. <laughs> he just, he's just jumping on my oh, back. It feels really good. He just gets treats. They just want to get on me for treats. We didn't even hear the benefits of why this is Yeah, why is this beneficial? <laughs> so the number one benefit is laughter, obviously, and like stress. Oh, okay. Relief. So it's, yeah, okay. Um, the number two benefit, I would say, is like the goat massage, as you're experiencing so right nice. now. It sounds like it's just a fun activity. It's not like a serious yoga discipline. Wow. No, we want yeah. people to come and just get in touch with their adventurous sides. <laughs> and I feel, it. I feel I feel like more limber already. Like I feel skinnier. <laughs> they also really help with your core strength. So why don't we do a core strength pose? All right, here we go, goat. And just do a couple of cat cows. So inhale. Ah, he came onto me. Exhale, forehead to pubic bone. Forehead to pubic bone, huh? Oh. Ah. Wow, that feels so good. Thank you, Gigi. Let's see if you can balance <laughs> like that with a goat on your back. Come on, goat, let's do it. I felt like I felt pretty strong Whoa. for a minute. <laughs> okay, here we go. I, I got this, you <laughs> damn goat. And would you dare do crunches, bringing your right elbow into your left knee? Would I dare? I would dare. Whoa! <laughs> Give it a try. You guys are really good at the back. Really? They're loving you, yeah. We're athletic. Right, here we go. Maybe we're yes. more athletic than we there thought. There you go. Keep that core tight. Yes. It's actually better for core strengthening than doing this without a goat, <laughs> to be honest. That goat loves going. Ow! So do the other side. Take your right leg out behind you. I'm not a mountain. Damn, that goat got me good. Oh, sorry, goat. Okay. There it is. It's so good. It feels good, right? Yeah. Oh. So this, ah. in child's pose, you get the massage and Sometimes they catch me in the side, man. Oh. Oh, Jesus, Trisha, put on some pants. What the <laughs> fuck is this? Can someone get a shot of that? I have shorts on. Someone better get a shot of that. I got shorts. No, I have a tampon in. Oh, God, <laughs> dude. I have shorts and tights, though. Goats might, goats Are they like... attracted to blood, like sharks? They're vegan. So one of the things we didn't talk about were goat blessings. Um, as part of every class, there's usually a blessing or two. But because the goats are vegan, their blessings are good luck. Um, and they don't, they hardly smell or anything. So like goat poop, you'll see at some point maybe, um, they're like coffee beans. They poop on us? They might. So, but they cannot be potty trained. So that's the thing. It, part, it adds to the adventure <laughs> of the class. Oh, um, and then at times they will urinate, but their, their pee is basically like yellow water. It doesn't have any ammonia. I Sorry? actually like a little oh, pee. Water. Holy water. I'm so impressed how flexible you are. Really? <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. You're doing it too. This is good. Well, yeah, but I'm like flexible. Why? Why you are you You don't look flexible? like you're flexible. I got a full surprises, Trisha. <laughs> <laughs> so you can either just keep it like this and just keep it as a stretch and make them a boat that way. But if you want to oh, go hardcore. Oh, they go inside my boat. I'm so oh. fat that it's like <laughs> pressing my lungs. <laughs> can't breathe in this damn boat. So what what is your guys called boat? Is it wait, what is it? Oh, this says Bamaste. Oh, Bamaste. <laughs> Which we'll do we'll Got do it. our goat owns at the end. Yeah. <laughs> Goats are really nice, but like oh, he's taking yeah, he's oh, taking a dump right wait. there. That's goat poo. That's a blessing. Is there a goat? On There's the there is a sure. goat on you, Trisha. <laughs> I can't even feel it anymore. My back is like numb. <laughs> Let me know when you guys are done. <laughs> okay. I want some of that goat massage, you know? <laughs> All right, so bringing your hands to heart center, sitting up nice and tall. We're gonna end our class with three baas, just to let out the stress and have a little ah. conversation with the goats. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> Ba. Take a big inhale. And ba. And again, big inhale. And ba. Last one, big inhale. Bah. Bah. 
Thank you guys so much for joining us today for Thank Goat you. Yoga. You guys did amazing. Thank you, Felix. Bamaste. They were so sweet. Thank you. Bamaste. <laughs> okay, so how do I turn this? Here we go. Engine. Ooh. Smooth. Okay, okay, all the way down. And then up is reverse. Up is reverse, down is drive. I think you want to oh, reverse. Oh, yeah, duh, obviously. <laughs> idiot. Where do we you go? drive? I don't even pretend to No, I don't driving. drive. I love this top camera. Oh my goodness. It's All right, the let's best. go. Is it, it's probably pretty fast, too, eh? It's fast, but like wow, honestly. The wheel is soft and gooey. Yeah. <laughs> and you don't have to like put much pressure, like, you know, force on it. It's like a smooth ride. Like, you don't have to drive it, it drives itself. Let's see how much attention we get from people when we cruise around. Yeah. How, how do I tell if it's. It's drive. It's the D. It's right there. You're in drive. What are you doing? It's in drive. <laughs> Where are you seeing D? Right there. Oh, okay. oh my God. Wow, the wheel's so soft, dude. I know. I love it. I'm it's gonna so wave fun. to people. Oh, she didn't want to say, what a bitch. Okay, well look at you. <laughs> I waved hi to her. The fact that somebody in a Rolls Royce waves hi to you and you say, <gasps> and you don't wave back. We bitch. are not entitled. Bitch. You know James Corden just goes in a circle usually. They don't usually like go anywhere. Yeah, well, fuck James Corden. I like. like him. I would leave you in a heartbeat for James Corden if you offered me an assistant oh, position. Really? Yeah. Yeah, he, James Corden wouldn't take you any, anywhere. I think, what? He's too, he needs the attention. He's like, I'm James Corden, I wear tight Gucci shirts all <laughs> the time. That's not true. Yeah, this is fun. I like this car. Wow, this is nice. This is really nice. We become more friends. Everyone always says that. They're like, oh, they're becoming friends. <laughs> it's. I wonder when it's going to fall. There's going to fall apart, though. Something's going to happen. Oh, but that's like everybody in my life. That's like inevitable. I just wonder, wonder what. Because I wonder um, what, what could it do. Because I don't, I mean, I'm pretty easygoing. Like you, I feel like you've already tried to ruin my life, and and I definitely crossed all the lines. Like I don't think there's anything yeah. I could be more insulting. And I feel like mine is just yeah. like I'm, I'm like a weapon, you know, with my words. And if you already handled what I've said about you and your family, like mm -hmm. all your family, I feel like we're okay. Yeah, I did, and I really don't. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's all good. Because like my ex, like crossed the line when I mentioned his ex-wife, and I was like, she's a C U N T, and then he's like, okay, I gotta break up with you, but just because you called his ex-wife a c yeah, he was a little cuckold though. He was just like, Whoa. um. Why would well, he has kids with her? He probably respects his ex-wife, baby yeah. mama, and all that. Yeah, well, she's a bitch. Well, that's why he broke up with you. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna keep it lighthearted. Are we gonna sing at all? So like, yeah, something? I don't. I don't think you could say anything that would would make me want to stop disconnect with you. But I feel Aww. like you'll disconnect with me, and like for something sure. will happen with Moses or something. You'll right. something will blame. You'll find something to blame me for. For sure. If we're like done, done. I don't. I think it'd be awkward for me. It'd be inappropriate for me to continue on with his family. Why? It just I ends bad. Care. Look at the Capulets and the Montagues. They Shh. both ended up dead. You and me are gonna fucking die in the same tomb yeah, together. Yeah, but we're not like gangsters, and well, we're not in love. <laughs> Let's make that very clear too. People think we are. People think you're kind of into me. People don't think that. They definitely do. On your last TikTok, everyone's like, "Where's Trisha? Ethan's into Trisha." I saw the comments. What? Yeah. They were saying that we're friends and siblings. I saw a comment. No, like, look at the last one you did with Ela. They're like, he's so into Trisha. <laughs> The last one I did with Ela? Yeah, on your TikTok. I read the comments. Swear in my life I read them. I can find them. They're the top comments. Read one to me that with okay. any amount of likes that says, I like you. I'm sure it's the first one because I literally, like, you know, I like It's to not. Huh? It's not the first it's one. It's definitely. It's not the first, but it's probably top five, ten. Go ahead. Okay, I'm finding it right now. I'm finding it. Okay. Do you think that I am interested in you? Even first, the top one is, it makes you friends with Trisha, which I don't even get the joke. Um, it wait. says, no pussy makes you friends with Trisha. That's, that's. What? I'm go right here. Okay. okay, but that doesn't mean that I'm interested in you. So no, there ahead. is one. There is one. I'm okay, so you it. found one in a sea of like thousands of comments, and you're why are you obsessing over the fact? I want him and Trisha together. How many likes does it have? How many likes? Does well, it have? you can't see likes How? on TikTok. There's no likes. Bullshit. Three. There's no it has likes. Three. Wait. Oh, I swear on my life, I did not know that. So three likes. I'm pulling over. What is happening? You didn't know there was likes on TikTok? <laughs> oh, my God. Ethan likes Trisha. Three likes. Look at that. Oh, Ethan likes Trisha. Behind. You didn't know? Ethan likes Trisha. Three likes. And that's your top likes. There's comments. I'm no, sorry. it's not. Nobody Here's likes your TikToks. There's one with 5,000. It says, you are friends with Trisha. And that's the most liked. Yeah, it's not to do... Ethan likes Trisha. What, do you think that I like you? Do you yeah. Think, like, sexually? <laughs> no, I think you have, like, a crush on me. <laughs> you really do? <laughs> Do you kind really? of, yeah. That's, that's the I method. think you have a little bit. I mean, I know, like, it's like, you it's fine to have crushes on people. I feel like you no, do. I, 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 I promise you a that. A little bit. It's fine. It's zero. healthy to have a crush on people. It's fine. It's not a big deal. Because you wanted to move it to twice a week. I was like, ooh. Yeah, <laughs> that because it's, it's good. Not because I want to <laughs> fuck you. I mean, no. I think you have a, I think you have an illness that you think 
well, everything has to become sexual with you, and you think every guy wants oh. to fuck you. I guarantee, dude, Trisha. I mean, with peace and love, <laughs> I really would rather fuck put my dick in a that's in a what, socket. That's what most guys say. Like you know, like incels say that too. You know what I mean? I feel like most guys say that. But hey, I'm not. I'm not like, an incel. I have a kid. I, I think you're. In, I don't think you have sex that much. Proof, I have ch- a child. That's proof that I've had sex at least one time. Yeah, making prob- me not an incel. Probably. <laughs> Check me. I don't even know what it's all means. It means that they're in. It means that they don't have sex, but it's not their decision. Wait, really? That's what an incel is. It's they want to have sex, but they can't get any because life isn't fair and women hate good guys. Honestly, they shouldn't meet me. I'd have sex with anybody. I'd be like, okay, like. Trisha's the antidote to incel. Them. <laughs> Incels don't even want to have sex with me. Though. Trisha, like, I don't know how to convince you that I don't want to fuck you. Um, I think it's a crush. I don't think it's you want to fuck me. I think I don't, I'm a how crush. do I? Cr- uh, <laughs> what is a crush mean that I'm attracted? I'm not. I'm not. It's pure mm. friendship. Mm. Well, I'm getting the feeling that you maybe want to fuck me. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, like no. But I feel like every like. There's not. Yeah. How do I prove to you <laughs> that I have no? There's no crush. How do I prove to you? You can't. It's just in my head forever. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's cool though. Are we gonna sing? Are we not singing this time or not? You're over it. No, let's sing. Okay. I may not live to see our glory. I may not live to see our glory. <laughs> oh, people are just. This but is I just, will gladly join the fight. And, and I, I will gladly join. This is horrible. And I it, hate it. Jew! Look at the giant dreidel. <laughs> Trisha, you can't just scream Jew. You can't just drive around screaming Jew. <laughs> Why is that like, so oh, big? Take dreidel. <laughs> Jews! <laughs> A dreidel? Do you know the dreidel song? Yeah. You want to sing it? Mm-hmm. Dreidel, 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 I made it out of clay. And when it's dry and ready, a dreidel I shall play. Hey! Tomorrow there'll be more of us. Shall <laughs> Wow! Story of tonight. I... Oh, what? Why did I... I did not know you knew Hamilton. Like, when you said that, I, I was do. like... I do. Wait, really? Listen. I know it. Give Why have some... you never said that before? <laughs> I literally have said it. You just don't listen to me. You've so, never been like, oh, just, Hamilton's cool. Just, like I, I, t- I listen... I'm a Hamilton fan. I wait, told really? You, that. you just... No. All you think about is that I want to <laughs> fuck you, which is weird, because there's other things going on between Should we us. do that Hamilton song where he's, like, trying to fuck her? Which one is that? The one that's like... She led me to her bed. Her face turned red. She led me to her bed and said... Oh, can't say no to this? <laughs> yeah. I love that song. Wait, wait. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Nothing like summer in the city. <laughs> dun, 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 <laughs> someone under stress me and someone looking pretty. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Ryan Reynolds came into my life. She, she said, said oh, I know you're a man of honor. I'm so sorry to bother you at <laughs> home, but I don't know, know where to go. And I can't be here all alone. She, she said, said, My <laughs> husband's doing yeah, me wrong. Don't touch me. <laughs> I was acting. You're not, don't put, like, don't do that. Beating me and miss cheating me. <laughs> Suddenly he's up and when gone. You make weird jokes about us having. Beef we're acting. It's not acting. We're in a car, <laughs> fucking spitting. I mean, we definitely all got COVID. If any of us have it. I don't have COVID. I just got tested. Like I literally get tested all the time. You say our love is draining and you can't go on. You low-key want to be on Broadway. Would you do it? No. Really? No. Why? You're too scared. Why the fuck would I go on Broadway? Because you're good and you like performing. You played your music for me last time. I'm not good. I mean, not Broadway good. I think I'm Broadway good. Yeah, this is kind of good. Although you're like not the best driver, I'm not gonna lie. What? What am I doing wrong? I'm literally. <laughs> you're just very heavy-footed with like slamming it like on the brakes. Like you don't slow down. You do like a break. You do like a. Dan, do you have? Do you agree? I haven't really noticed. Yeah, thank Really? You. Oh, I'm like a little nauseous, but I'm good. Oh, my God. Domestic life was never quite my style when you smile. You knocked me out and I fall apart. And I thought I was so smart. Take Philip Schuyler, the man is loaded. But, uh-oh, little does he know that his daughters, Peggy, Angelica, Eliza, sneak into the city just to watch all the guys at work, work. Angelica, work, work. Eliza, oh, work, work, and Peggy, the Skyler sister. Jellica, Liza, work, Peggy. Do you want to sing some of your music? For yeah, can I play it? It's it's royalty yeah, free. You it. won't get you won't get flagged. Yeah, play it. Oh my god, really? Oh, thanks for letting me promo. Can we actually put this in the? Oh, we have so many things to put in the description no, well, this we'll time. We'll probably cut like a lot of that. So, 
can we put all of it on? I'll put it on my channel, the whole thing. No. <laughs> Why? It's so good. Oh well, my do god. Whatever you want with it, but let's. Can let's you give me it. all of it? All right, ready? Jesus. This is my new song. Sad Boy 2005 is my band. I really like the cover art. Thank you. It's very newfound glory. Oh, you're a pretty good singer, Trisha. Thanks. Really? Or at least in that voice where you go. I'm lower. I'm like an alto. I'm a lower. You go lower. On the wrong side. I'm low falling drive. Like, wait, let me go to my favorite part. Oh, okay, okay, keep going. Wrong side. I'm low falling drive. Feels like two thousands kind of music. It's called Sad Boy 2005. Oh yeah. <laughs> I love this song. Don't tell me that I'm alright. I could scream your name, but I don't want to scream. <laughs> That I'm fucking fine. Oh, a boy in evanescence was the pain of adolescence. I wish I had a time machine. <laughs> I heard this one on YouTube. Let me hear it crank this one up. Wait, this one I already played. <laughs> I'm just dying to know. Is it a bit? I feel like I have to do this face. It's a family affair. It's you guys. This is about Moses. This is the one. It's a family affair. Oh, that's about me? Yeah. Oh, shit. Because it's a family affair. All right. I didn't gonna even sleep at night. Leave from your eyes. Like, you'll be happy when I'm dead because Why? can you imagine that front of me's episode the day after I die? Like, you're yeah, gonna get all the views. Yeah, that would be a banger, but. That so would you're be a banger be happy. episode. But I, but I will get, have way more banger episodes with you alive. How do I park this motherfucker? Here we go. I don't think so. Because you're the last one that was nice to me in this life. And so, so, you, people... so, so you think that it would just be a total banger if you died. Yeah. It'd be worth it you having died. You'd get so many views. But like, wouldn't I get more views you being alive? I don't think so. I'm going to be more popular when I'm dead, which is honestly why I'm not scared of death. I'm going to be like blown up when I'm dead. Like I'll be on Merge and Hot Topic and stuff. I wouldn't bank on that. I guarantee I'm going to be that person. I don't, I'm not sure. I'll be like an Elvis at 42, keel over on the toilet. Okay, we are back. First of all, lots to talk about. Great singing. We did some singing. I, I was so impressed. You were. You knew like all the words. You're yeah, really I'm good at rhythm. I'm a Hamilton super fan. You I tried to tell you that. about it. Like why weren't we at Passover? Why, or what were we at? Rosh Hashanah. Why were we not watching Hamilton on Disney Plus? I didn't occur to me. I mean, you guys had like the news on. You're like on James Charles Twitter. Like we could have been watching Hamilton. Okay. Well, I, I am a fan of Hamilton. You know, the problem with Hamilton is that Ela, I love it, but every time I play it, because I've played it so much, Ela gets mad. Oh, she, yeah? She hates it. Just oh. because I listen to it so much and it bothers her, so I kind of like mm. facing it out of my, my, my repertoire of music. She's an immigrant. She should love that. It's all about immigrants. It's, we get the I don't think done. she hates the message. I just think she's tired of listening to the same music over foreigners and over. Foreigners, too, in general, because my dancers, I took them to see that. A lot of foreigners don't understand it because it's like, it's, it's hard for understand if you're an English speaker. So, like, if you're not a native English speaker, it's like hard to understand. Like, my mom doesn't understand it. You know what I mean? Like, she's like, I don't get it. <laughs> so much words and. It is. It takes a few times to digest. Like, my French friend who's been here like 10 years is like, I don't know what's going on. I can't understand anything that's happening. You yeah, know what I mean? They talk fast. And, yeah. You know. Maybe like it's not a foreign. But thing. Um, yeah, that's what that was super embarrassing. Like. And I hope that Dan edits a lot of it out because we were driving for a while. <laughs> I your, loved it. That was so much fun. Your car is so baller. Yeah. Thanks. I want it. Thanks to front of me. I was able to get it. That was my purchase. Nah. <laughs> Half a million dollar car. Yeah. Six that oh, dude, the rent so I don't I want that car, but it, it costs six thousand dollars a month to lease. And so I'm not I can't do it. I just can't. Yeah, you got a kid. No, you can. You I can mean, have I, the money. Yeah, but like it's you feel like a fucking idiot. I think it's more of like a comfort. Like your life is stressful, right? Like my life I have a lot of anxiety, so it's like the nice comforting thing. I don't have to get in my car and have anxiety. Mm -hmm. And it does I mean if you can afford it, obviously, but like for me it's like that splurge. Like I've always splurged on cars, first class. Like those are two and bags. Those are like three things I've always splurged on even though I was poor. And clothing. I don't know. I oh. buy like Fashion Nova. I'm like so oh. cheap. Oh, $70,000 back. Yeah, the purse is for sure okay. always, but. <laughs> so, um, so the singing was good. The goats were great. Dan said that Trisha was a better singer. I asked him though. So you guys let me know in the comments who belted it better. You weren't trying. I feel like if you actually tried, it would. You'd I be may not live to see our glory. That's not you trying. So you're being funny, but you have better pitch than me. I have really bad pitch. I like don't know what pitch is. <laughs> Dan, who has a better pitch? I don't know what pitch is. What is pitch? I'm not really sure either. I just know yeah. I'm never on. You just know it's bad. <laughs> so anyway, the singing was fun. The, what'd you think of the goat yoga? That was so good. But can I say, like, uh, people are like, of course she is. I'm getting a little insecure around thin women. 
I feel I felt a little intimidated because she's so skinny, and I was like, oh. The instructor or the goat lady? The instru- <laughs> all of it. All of it. Skinny girls like. You know what you told me that was me. super funny? The reason that you like the Rolls Royce is because it's <laughs> so big, it makes you feel small. <laughs> it's true because I used to have like awesome. a Lamborghini, and I felt like a big fat ass getting out of that all the time. I was like, I was like squeezing in, like I just looked horrible. This one, I'm That's, like, oh, I'm so tiny. I was like, oh, that makes so much sense now. Why you love it? Because it's huge. It's like a boat. Yeah, if you see my mukbangs, I put my chair all the way back, so I'm really far from the camera, so I look so tiny, and my car is so big. That's very funny. Yeah. I love that. I looked huge. Do you remember the first one of me and Moses? We were in a Porsche Macan. It was so tiny. And I looked 3,000 pounds. Moses looked 100 pounds. I was like, oh my so God. So it's all car. about the on-camera perception. Of course. Yeah. Oh, so it's kind of a prop if you think about it. It's Yeah, the write-off for like, ah. all my mukbangs are in my car now. So <laughs> I got to start doing car mukbangs so I can write off my fucking $500,000 car. Listen you, <laughs> to the IRS. Listen, it makes me look small. <laughs> it's part of your business. And yeah, it's brand. part of my business. You it's a look total write-off. Acceptable to the world. And people like skinnier people. Let's just face it. People are nicer to skinnier people. But it was Let's great. just face it. So goat yoga, the, the thing is like, okay, so I at least found out that it's just a gag. It's not that serious. What do you mean? What, what do you think it was serious? How serious? Well, because, you know, you hear goat yoga and you think of all these people like doing serious yoga with goats. And you're just like, why are people doing yoga with goats at all? I don't think that was it. I think it's literally for Instagram and stupid YouTube Just for videos. fun. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm glad I understood that. I felt, I feel like I worked out though. I was like, my heart was actually like as a kind of short of breath. You know, we were shooting a TikTok last week, and I got a little worried because you got so winded. We, like, jogged, like, only five okay, feet. Okay, but that's because my boobs, when I bounce and my boobs. And she's like, oh, I'm getting winded. I was like, <laughs> shit, I'm out of shape, but damn, No, girl. you're not out of shape. You're very strong. Um, Yeah, I definitely have been out of shape. I used to be in really good shape, but I'm just, yeah. I haven't exercised in, like, a year. So the goat yoga was good. I would be weary. I just want to follow up on something we were talking about during the goat yoga. Is that the party goats? I don't know if you don't. Me- they said not to mention this. You love just pissing it's- people off. Like you'll never get to work with Hello Critter again. <laughs> Fuck, not Hello Critter. <laughs> they have bunnies. Wait, hold on. I just want to say because it's like a PSA that the that the she was like these are violent. The party goats are violent, and when the party goats show up, people that. leave. She definitely did not. I'm just that. saying, if you guys go somewhere and the party goats show up, you should leave because they're violent and they eat <laughs> your hair. They're not violent. That's what she said. She was like, listen, the party goats. I had party goats on me and they were fine. You said they were eating your hair. They chew on your hair a little bit. So that's all I'm saying. But these one pooped and the party goats did not poop on me. Well, okay. I'd rather get pooped on than attacked and violently Would you? Killed. If they don't attack you, they chew your hair. That's not attacking. I'm just saying. I'm just giving a disclaimer about the party goats if, if, in case anybody wants to go out there. I feel like I look like Anthony Padilla in 2006, right? So uh, let's Should talk about on the stuff. podcast. So um, you want to talk about Moses? Everyone's wondering what's going on with you. Is Moses. everybody wondering? Or are you yeah. just asking? No one asked. No, questions. literally, <laughs> dude. Every, all the comments were like, "How are you guys not going to talk about what happened?" With when? Moses? When did they ask? On the that? last episode, uh, we had so much to go over that episode, though. Exactly. Yeah. So I, and you guys were still kind of working it well, out. So I don't talk about it here. I felt like it's not right to talk about someone when they're not here. You know what I mean? Okay, so let me ask you some questions. You guys broke up a few weeks ago. And now you're talking about the. Um, I would say we took a break. I getting, say, having baby. Didn't you upload a video saying we're getting pregnant? I mean, what the fuck? Yeah, I wouldn't say we broke up. I wouldn't call it a breakup. You had a break. We had a break. Like a, it was like a good. And now like, you want to have days. kids? We've been wanting to have kids. It's not like a new like. I mean, we're both like that age and. So do you have an? What was the announcement? Because I actually don't know what it is. Oh, <laughs> this is so exciting! We officially it's done. Signed. We signed last night. We bought a house. Are you fucking <laughs> kidding me? You guys did that? Yeah, we got it last night. Well, congratulations. <laughs> but holy shit. Yeah. So you guys are <laughs> You guys bought the house you were telling Both, me about? Yeah, and our names are on it. Do you want to Oh my you know, god. Show you. I can't believe you guys got that house. It's I mean, insane. congratulations. Thank you. Like, we got it for such a good price that in my head this is Is it like, gated community? It's gated and gated oh. inside the gated. Oh, it's gated gated? Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, I love the gated gated. And then you know, we got Moses security over here, ex-Israeli like army, like he's like all tough and shit. He's going to so. throw your ass to the fucking wolves if somebody comes. Yeah. What? No, no, he's so He's going to push you and run. He's going to fuck you. I'm out. That's so not true. George Costanza style like the haunted he's, man. No, he's super protective and um yeah, in my head, I thought, okay, when we were on our break, right? I'm like, okay. So wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> you I? guys just made this huge commitment to each other. You bought, you co-bought a house. Both your names are on the deed. Yeah. And half and half. We but both, you guys almost broke up. He's the first guy that ever would, I could even have this You possible. guys split the, the. 50%. 50%. He put just as much. Way to go, me. Moses. Right? I'm so proud of him. Like I totally. Did you need a loan for the down payment? No. Gotcha. No. Oh my goodness. Moses. Good I job, know. dude. Moses. 
can I just say I was totally when I first met him, I totally judged him. I'm like, oh my god, you live in like a shitty water museum. He like, owns like, it, though. Right, but he He's had this little, but he had no other space. He like lived there, so I was like, okay, why are you like living there? But yeah, owning it doubly, I was like, oh, I love yeah. this guy already. Good credit, all that stuff. But then I was like, ew, you like he didn't even have like a real shower. It was like a porta potty shower, and I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck? And it was kind of ghetto. And then I was like judging him. But this is what I'm saying, ladies, never judge someone based on where they live because yeah, but he, he baller. Owned, yeah, but he, he owns the property. And also his it. bank account was fat as shit. I was like, oh damn, okay. So honestly, like, I like having someone equal. Like, okay, it's but important like, to me. but aren't you guys okay. a little bit worried about how so, rocky your relationship? But listen, been? here was my here was my way because we we did a break right, and we were in the process of like seeing if we're gonna get this house or whatever. We got this house for such a good price. Like they didn't even counter offer us and so we're really? like yeah because and we're like and so i was thinking okay if we how get much below asking did you get like percentage wise how much percentage wise babe uh, it's like over Oh wow! So I was nice. like, okay, if he said three hundred thousand, yeah, three hundred thousand less. So I, in my head, I said, okay, when we were on this break, I'm like, you they know what? They didn't counter, huh? They didn't. They counter a little, right? Like oh, twenty five thousand or something. Yeah, okay, seventy five thousand. Um, so a little bit, but nothing. And so basically, I was like, in my head, I was like, if we get the house, so we're meant to be together. If we don't, I'm just gonna go separate ways. So it was like a. Did you do that in your head ever? Like you're like, okay, if this happens, yeah, but yeah. but you have to know that that's not, that's not really how oh. the world works. I've just never been in like. Neither one of us has been in like a long term relationship, but it's like for me, I never lived with someone. He never lived with someone. And like, this is like, and we're both, we're old. <laughs> we're both like fucking old. So it's like, hey, and you look, know if you guys break up, you sell the house and you split the. Or I take it and pay him the money he pays. Oh, yeah, to you it. can pay in equity. When we sell the house, we knew each other. He said when, when we sold the house, you knew. Well, honestly, when we saw it, it was like, the, it's so perfect the way it's like laid out and stuff. Like, how big so, is it? 8,000 square feet. Holy but the, shit, it's huge. And the actual house, I mean, it's Who's huge. bougie now? Bigger than my house. Is it? Yeah. Well, you guys are in this, like, fancy-ass neighborhood. We're kind of further off of L.A. We're kind You're of in a gate in a gate. True. Yeah. We got the double gate. Um, I want a gate in a gate in a gate. It, I want to move into your community in the third gate. You should move into our community. Heather Lockler lives there. Brett Michaels. Really? <laughs> um, but anyways. Um, Would you be mad if I moved into a gate in a gate in a gate? You can't. You can't. I want to build my own gated community and your gated community. I mean, that'd be dope if you guys live near us. That'd be cool. We'd like, we could. Nah, you're too far. I know where you live. It's too far away. Well, yeah. And it's really far. Yeah. But we're next to like our friends. Like we have friends. So, like. You, oh. I mean, I love the area you guys moved to, but. It's really nice. Far. So, um, yeah. So we got that last night and I was like, well, well congrats. Damn. Holy shit. And it's just like, yeah. So Does she fart? No, no, Ew, we both really? don't. That's so no. gross. Like that's that's like our our. She doesn't role. rip ass in front of you. That's but our you role. You have in front to have like other. gnarly because you mukbang and you eat all this crazy food. You must be ripping ass somewhere. No, I don't. I don't. I really don't. You know, I don't even go to the bathroom. Like I can't even go to the bathroom. Like I don't go. But you still haven't passed the fucking lip ring out. <laughs> There's a lip ring somewhere inside of you. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm my period now, so it's whatever. Yeah, you know, Trisha was on her period, and like the goats were sniffing her shit. They're it's getting disgusting. to it. It was disg- I imagine the goat because they like <laughs> eat everything like eating your used tampon. I don't know why I had that image in my head and it's so horrifying. At the beginning of our relationship, Moses said he would never have sex with me on my period and now he has sex with me on my period. So I feel like he's really in love with me. Ugh, gross. He said he like smelled the blood just from like being next to a girl one time. I'm like, oh, okay, that's so dramatic. I got so pissed at him for that. I'm like, that's not real. You can smell it. Why not? Friends with different people. Yeah, you can so, smell like, it. That's why I know we get along because... <laughs> He so, scooped a so, sponge out of me one time when it was bloody. Oh, God. <laughs> like a vag sponge? No, like a makeup sponge. You put it up there when you have, if you want to have sex on your period. And it was too what? far up there. Mm-hmm. You put a fucking sponge in your vag. So yeah. You fuck. That's so you have sex. desperate, man. It stops it. Like absorbs it. But then to get it out, you have to like hook it out. Why don't you just put a towel down or something? Ugh, that's too messy. I don't like that. I don't like it. Personally. So you scooped a bloody sponge out of her? Yeah, and I had no problem with it. Yeah, it's crazy because at the beginning he's like, I hate How deep hair. was it? As deep as you can imagine. Yeah. How deep in were you? Like wrist? <laughs> it was so hard to get out. Were how deep? Like he has past wrist? He has skinny fingers. So. How in were you? The whole hand? Not like that. Finger. So you're going to talk about this, but not the dildo. <laughs> so you're like, let's talk about scooping out of. No, I could. That, he didn't want to talk about the dildo. Oh, God, I got it. Yeah, I'm happy to talk about anything. <laughs> Are you going to come to our wedding? Of course. Why wouldn't I? He told me, I don't know if it was, it was like kind of like a proposal, but a half-assed proposal. He's like, he goes, well, we have the house. So of course, we're going to get married now. I'm like, well, is that a proposal or like what? Because he, <laughs> he keeps saying that stuff to me. He's like, well, we're going to be married. I was like, I don't get why. I think he's, I think if I had to guess, he's testing the water. 
oh, like you think someone's saying no. Could you imagine that'd be like the shock? Well, you you me. really want to make sure the girl says yes if you know what you're doing. Don't take her to like a Dodger Dodger game and propose on the field and then, you know, like these <laughs> assholes. No. These, she says no. It's like, bro. Mm. Mm. You know my intentions. His intention is to marry you. Oh wow. That's what he's saying right now. Well, maybe we apologize to my sister so she can come to the wedding. I will. I think you have some work to do. Would first. you come to the wedding? I said yes, of course. I Why would I we, not come to the wedding? I don't know if we could invite you because I think we're having a small like affair. My brother-in-law and my friend don't invite me. Could you imagine? I mean, I'll be like, all right, fuck it. I don't. I, mean, I don't you need to leave care? the house. You wouldn't care. I'd be surprised. I'd be a little. I'd be offended. Yeah, but I wouldn't be like. It depends how small is it. Are you going to invite, like, <laughs> other people you know from YouTube? Like, like Shane? Oh, well, duh. That's my best man. Like, that's my best man. So so why the fuck Shane get an invite and I don't? Because he's my best what friend. About my, what about his sister? He says he's not close with you guys. His word's not mine. <laughs> Oh my god, that's why Alicia, we have, <laughs> well, I mean, you gotta I, stop no, the madness I like, right now. <laughs> I like, anyways, you gotta I like stop the, the madness. Everyone um, are invited. Dan and his girlfriend are invited, you not so much. Well, see, yeah, that would confuse me. Dan's girlfriend's a, like, oh, likes only me. fans can get only invited. fans. That's yeah, <laughs> anyways. Well, it, <sighs> we're good. So, big announcement we're good, we we're happy, house. we've all apologized. Do you accept my apology? Always, yes. Thank you. Always and you, accept the problem. And, and, and Moses is working hard to make things right. They bought a house, so apparently that means you forgive him. Moses is, like, so handsome, smart, funny, like, Just has a good job. bad TikToks. <laughs> only negative bad TikToks. <laughs> Horrible TikToks. The only thing worse might be his YouTube videos. Oh, my God. Does that offend you, Moses? No. Okay, <laughs> this what? Rugged. Oh, even if, even even if you say it's bad, <laughs> Moses has a horrible channel. Channel Water, <laughs> check it out. No, but he like no, it's fine. We love it. It's fine. It's all good. Honestly, if it makes him happy, like it's so. Does fine. your family know that you guys bought a house together? Yeah, we told them. So what was their reaction? They were happy. You know what? They're happy. If I'm happy, I still think he owes him an apology. Like you know, like. Yeah, but I shouldn't have to, like, tell him to apologize. Like, that should be a no-brainer right away. But anyways, it doesn't matter. Um, but, yeah, I mean. Are you going to call her today? Yeah, he said yes. You can't push them. I'm trying to get things though. moving. <laughs> no, no, it's in the works. Yeah, it's in the works. <laughs> in the works. You got to hype yourself up. Think about what you want to say. That's a tough phone call. Yeah. Well, I mean, like I said, they know we have a house together. And, like, they're, they're like, easygoing people. That's Is it a new house? It's renovated. They redid it. They bought it in like 2018 and flipped it. It's it's so beautiful. Oh, 2018. So nice. big and perfect. And and Moses does furniture. So we're going to like oh, customize yeah. everything. Be sick. I'm so excited. Like the whole house we've already planned out. It's like really exciting. Um, so I'm excited about that. And I don't have to pay his fee anymore. Like at the beginning when I first met him, he told me he would give me a friends and family discount. I was like, you're not going to. got to work. <laughs> I mean, but we're having <laughs> sex and you're like, you're still going to charge me for the Well, furniture. hold on, hold on, hold on. That's like, oh, you fuck. Wait, I, I don't know if this is a good analogy, but if you're fucking a drug dealer, do you get the drugs for of free? Of course. Oh, okay, so maybe, maybe she has point. a point. Yeah, maybe she has a point. <laughs> I was like, where's my furniture hookup? And he was going to still charge me like a fee. I was like, what the fuck? Oh, you're going to charge her a fee on top of the cost of doing business labor. That's like pretty hustle. That's a hustle. Yeah, that is a hustle a little bit. <laughs> I mean, she's fucking you. You should be grateful. For like something. every day. I was like, yeah. what the fuck? I mean, damn. And this... eating. I was doing Postmates all the time, you know? I mean, you... he takes so good. Of, you know what? Can I say? I've never paid for a date. When we go out, he always pays. Oh, I mean, well, that's, yeah, that's good. But no, still. Yeah. He always does. He's actually, he's really good that way. Mm. And he, he charges so us. Obviously, he should. You guys are not close. You're like not even fam. So annoying. Why do you keep saying that? Say what? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you keep trying to trivialize all of his relationships. He told yours. me. He says he's not close to you guys. I don't think. Maybe like, you need to fix that, not me. Well, he's denying it. He's saying you're lying. You said that. When I said, did you tell him? He goes, we don't talk like that. I was like, all right. because no, he said, th we want to talk about it in the video. No, that's not what you said, Moses. Oh, my God. See, I hate this. That's not what he said. But that's why, whatever. I think you are perverting the truth, mm -hmm. if I have to be honest. What's perverting? No, I swear. Oh, my God. This is so annoying. You don't know what perverting is? You of all people. I don't know, perverting, but he's literally just, he literally said that. I wouldn't make that up. That's such a random thing to make up. But he, you know that. You know he's not close. He leaves all the time. He doesn't stick around. Like, he's not here to stay. He comes and pieces out. Okay. Don't worry. She's not going to drive a wedge between us. You don't you, care. If it was up to you, he wouldn't have anybody in his you life but you. You didn't even say happy birthday. He doesn't have anyone else. Yes, I did. You didn't say happy birthday. You bought him a gift. Birthday. 
Did you? Yes. You didn't say happy birthday to him. Moses is giving us the kibosh. Mm-hmm. Everyone's doing this. So I do have a Hanukkah gift, but it's more for the set and not necessarily for you. Well, hold on. Let's do a gift exchange. No, but, but I already got my gift and it's for the set and not for you well, specifically. Well, what the fuck? I want a gift. Where's my Rolls Royce? You're rich. You want to do a gift? Oh, fuck. All right. You're going to buy me a Rolls Royce? Fuck. What am I? I'll buy. Okay, fine. Let's do a gift exchange. Well, hold on. We should put a money cap because I don't want to go. Oh, no. Like, I don't do this shit. Do you know I ruin like vloggers parties all the time because they like $50 presents and I always come with like a $1,000 iPad. Okay, but how much are you going to spend? Because I need to know what's the ballpark, like what you're thinking. Because I'll buy you like. A Birkin? A Birkin? Mm-hmm. No, 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 no. Fuck no. Rolex. No. Okay. Can I ask um, Ela what you would like? Because I want to buy something you want. Yeah, you can. Fa- so, okay. Okay. Like, I want to buy something. Let's do a gift exchange Aww. on. I love gifts. In so December. Much. I don't know when's the closest episode, but we'll no, plan No, Hanukkah's out. next week. Hanukkah episode's next week. It starts the 8th. It is? Yeah. Oh, I have fuck. a little Hanukkah outfit planned. Oh, shit. So, I guess it's going to come as the Grinch, but I'll save that for Christmas. I'm coming as the Grinch. No, you're going to be the little girl. No, you're going to be the little girl because you always want to be the fucking girl. Bro, stop. Now I know you're a liar. <laughs> We Did literally I talk. My Grinch. I am sexy Dan, Grinch. Dan, I am Dan, sexy Grinch. Zoom in. Talk. Tell that she's a liar. In the last she's... episode, you said you were going to be Cindy. Who's yeah. Okay, I did change my mind, though. Okay, okay but well, see, who the, the fuck can have a conversation okay, with you? Conversation I said, I'll be the Grinch. The Grinch is until the And now all of a sudden, episode. I'm sexy Grinch. The Grinch is until the 21st. I'm sexy Grinch. <laughs> the Grinch is until the 21st. We have Hanukkah next week, another week in between, and then the Grinch. I'm sexy Grinch. Is that it? All right. Thank you for watching sadboy2005.com. Check it out. Coming for your brand, Teddy Bush. Out. Okay.